Not that it's a big deal, but this has got to happen every opening day of archery season, guaranteed. And here's the proof that it just doesn't matter. I had several bucks that were larger than the one I shot coming into this bait station, but uh, I don't need to get a big buck every year. I got enough antlers hanging on the wall already. And, uh, and we had some bear troubles earlier on. I was sure glad to see the blackberries come on. I got rid of these guys. <clears throat> they were doing some damage. The deer didn't seem to mind anyway. Here's my blind with a nice hand-built vine maple chair. Well, anyway, here's how it went down. So, I can't see over this stump in front of me. Well, I can't see the bait station. I can see around me pretty good. But I didn't see this buck come in at all. But I had the camera running. And I can look up at the screen. I got to put my glasses on. And uh, I saw there was a buck in there. Or, well, a deer. I could, it was low enough light. It, it was really hard for me to see the antlers. But anyway, I was in there for quite a little while before I noticed him. Probably five minutes. There, I finally noticed him. I've cut this down quite a bit, too. So here's where I'm at right here in the red circle. I see my head sticking up over that stump right there. Uh, I'm looking at him in the field glasses to uh, see if he even had antlers. I really couldn't see it with the naked eye. A little bit of a low light in there. I know, you're going, shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for that trail camera to come back on. But when he does this little move here, and I don't see it come back on, I'm like, ah, oh, I better get with the program here, or it's going to be over. So that trail cam is uh, on a 30 second um, pulse. So at about 28 seconds from the shot, you can hear him thrashing up there in the brush. He fell down. So that's how the longer it took him to fall over. Got to see that one fall. Not sure which buck it was, but it was definitely a buck. 
like it had a really good sized body on it. Well, seven thirty-five. Don't go running off yet. Got some slow mos to come here. Hi, honey. How are you doing? Well, I'm not doing too bad. I just shot a buck. Yes. <laughs> Good job, honey. Yeah. I'm not sure which one it is, but it definitely had some antlers. Okay. Not a big one or anything, but body was, body looked huge. Okay. I got to watch it fall, too. It didn't go anywhere. All right, honey, I love you. All right, honey, congratulations. Yeah, all right. All right. See you soon. All right, bye-bye. I got to watch that sucker fall. Didn't go far. Mm, maybe 30 yards. So, anyway. I don't hear it thrashing around, so it must be dead already. I'm still going to give it a half hour. Then I'm going to go over there and find my arrow. It, it looked like it just pinwheeled it. Sounded like I got the opposite leg. Looked like a full pass through. So, we'll see. went right over by that, those logs right there I think it's I think it's laying right in right in here somewhere let's take another look at that shot and slow it down a little bit and see if we can see that arrow <laughs> There's my arrow. Uh -huh. Looks like quite a bit of blood right here. Yeah. Getting a little dark, so that's pretty much what the blood trail looked like. Plenty of it to find him. Yeah. He's laying right over here. 